Hi there, my fellow YouTubians. I'd like to talk to you about my three favorite movies of 2002. Uh, I pushed the clues a couple weeks ago, but nobody really guessed on them, so no winners this week. Month. Whatever. Um, first, we have an ensemble comedy starring a comedic troupe of actors who work together on a regular basis and co-starring an individual who is in X2 but not the other X-Men movies and an individual who played Tom Green's leading lady in one of his films. That movie is... Super Troopers. Super Troopers is directed by Jay Chandrasekhar, who is a member of the comedy troupe Broken Lizard. And Broken Lizard went on to do Beer Fest, Club Dread, and The Dukes of Hazard. But this is their crowning achievement. It is a very well written and funny movie, starring a bunch of guys who are highway patrol officers. They love to goof off, have fun, party, harass motorists, and occasionally bust criminals. Uh, it co stars Brian Cox from X2 and Marissa Coughlin from Freddy Got Fingered. Next, we have E Tu Mama Tambian. This is a Spanish language movie. It is a Mexican film about a couple young guys who take a road trip. They invite a uh, woman with them, an older, attractive lady, to find a beach, uh, which is apparently mythical in that it is absolutely perfect and beautiful. Um, the um, two young guys are played by. Uh, Diego Luna from Milk, and another guy whose name I really can't pronounce, but his last name is Bernal. He was in Blindness, along with a number of other things, like The Signs of Sleep. And as I uh, recall, he used to date Natalie Portman, too. Anyway, this is a very, very good movie. Um, really, really good. And it's directed by Alfonso Cuaron, who uh, also directed uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and Children of Men. Um, and his style in this movie, this is a very low-budget movie, Itu Mama Tambian, which, by the way, translates as And Your Mother Too, contains a lot of handheld camera work, a lot of long takes, and he really sort of took that aesthetic and ran with it on his uh, subsequent big-budget productions. Um, this guy is a director who I will see probably anything that he does from now on if he keeps making movies that are this good. Um, he... Um, uh, has previously done movies like um, uh, The Little Princess and Great Expectations with Ethan Hawke and Gwyneth Paltrow, but this is uh, a really, really big step for him, and uh, everything he's done since then has been excellent. Finally, uh, we've got a uh, drama um, which stars one person who was in all three X-Men movies, one person who was in Armageddon, and one person who was in only one of the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. That movie is, of course, Monster's Ball. This is the movie that Halle Berry won her Academy Award for, for Best Actress. She plays a single mom and waitress in a diner. And uh, she, of course, plays Storm in the X-Men movies. Her co-stars are Billy Bob Thornton uh, from Armageddon. And, of course, Heath Ledger plays Billy Bob Thornton's son. And uh, he, of course, uh, was in one of the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Just the one, no more before or since. Sorry. Um, this movie is about, uh, obviously, the Halle Berry character meets Billy Bob Thornton. He is a prison guard who was a standing watch when her husband was ex executed, and uh, they strike up a relationship. This is kind of a rough movie. It's a sad movie. It's full of a lot of tragedies. A lot of people uh, die unexpectedly, and um, but they find each other, and they um, you know find sort of peace with each other. So kind of a rough ride, but still uh, very touching and uh, uh, an excellent film. Mark Forrester directed it. He is uh, the guy who went on to do... Um, Stranger Than Fiction with Will Ferrell and Emma Thompson, which is a very good movie shot here in Chicago. He also did Finding Neverland uh, with uh, Johnny Depp playing uh, J.M. Barry and Kate Winslet was also in that movie. Uh, so, three excellent movies from 2002. And uh, when we get into June, we'll do 2003, but before then, in May, this month, we shall uh, look at the uh, 10 best movies of the 80s, or at least my favorite movies of the 80s. I'm not really a good judge of the best movies because I was just a kid then. Uh, but, um, again, we'll post up clues for those. Hopefully some of you will be able to guess them. I'll have a lot of clues up, so uh, make things easier. And uh, so enjoy yourselves, and we will see you next time. Oh, by the way, as far as the MTV thing goes, um, I must apologize for that. Uh, the answer video was supposed to go up last week, but uh, my stupid brother Stan, he was supposed to post up the video because I was working last Sunday, and uh, instead he deleted that video and posted his own, uh, so I apologize for that. But in case you're wondering, my picks for um, the possible MTV nominees are The Dark Knight, Iron Man, Milk, Twilight, and Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I think those are the most likely movies to be nominated for Best Movie this year, if you're curious about such things. Um, anyway, I will um, torture him and uh, punish him and scold him uh, as many different ways as I can and make sure that he doesn't bother any of you anymore. 
Uh, if you're a loyal subscriber, again, I apologize for that. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Have a good one. And uh, see you next time. And take it easy.